the largest entertainment phenomenon in the whole southeast, but I think it's um, for Savannah the most um, important and interesting and exciting uh, entertainment. I don't know if venue is the right word, or not, but I think the most important thing for the students is the chance to hear uh, very developed uh, personalities talk, like uh, Sir Ian McKellen is going to be here for three days, and he said he wants to talk to as many students as he can, and uh, uh, Liam Neeson is talking to students, and uh, everybody is, does. And I think that's um, important. I have to uh, believe in anything I work on. Um, I mean, only a couple of times in my 35-year career did I do something just for money, but um, uh, I, I, I needed to feel that I could actually accomplish something. Um, and um, I was actually responsible for Tommy getting made. Um, and Margaret was a client of mine, and Ken Russell uh, was directing it, and Stigwood could only get the money for the movie if Ann Margaret would agree to be in it. And my Christmas present from her husband and manager was a week in uh, Puerto Vallada, Mexico, <laughs> with them. But uh, I had to talk her into doing the movie Tommy. And um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> I guess you did, I guess. You're here this year because you won an award yes. last year. Why don't you tell us what that was and then kind of what, what you're doing this year, what happened last year, and kind of how you feel about everything. Yes. The award I won was called, or is called, the Silver Screen Society Screenwriting Grant. And what it is, is you, this is what I did last year at the festival. I pitched an idea for a comedy set in Savannah to a panel of producers from Hollywood. And there were a bunch of other students. We all pitched ideas. And then um, I won. And what that means is I've had this past year to develop that idea into a feature-length script. And I was mentored by Barry Rosenbush, who produced High School Musical and Scary Movie and all that stuff. So he's worked really closely with me, and we've done all the writing, and he's critiqued it and helped me through the process. And then in the past about month, um, I've been casting and directing it into a stage performance with a bunch of performing arts students, and we're going to be performing at the Goosting Gallery. Um, like a table read, but like a play. It's a little bit of a step up above a table read. So that's what that is. And there's also prize money involved, so you get a $4,000 grant. And it's great. It's been wonderful. It's been a challenging year, and it's been a good year, and I've learned so much because of it. And now the festival is finally here, and I can't believe it. It flew by, but I'm thrilled, so I can't wait. What are you working on? What's the future like? Well, right now I'm finishing up my thesis documentary as well. So I love screenwriting, but I also love documentaries. And I'm really working hard on that, and my dream and goal would be to work for National Geographic. So they've actually got a lot of people from National Geographic at this festival this year, so I'm going to talk to them and see about maybe interning and seeing what that can lead to. Um, and that is the goal for me. I'd love to move out to D.C. and work there in journalism and documentary filmmaking. So. How important is it as for a SCAD student, someone, you know, for us, yes. everyone watching? I think it is so important, honestly. Um, I remember my very first film festival just three years ago, I volunteered. Um, and since then, and even that was wonderful, you know, and since then I've been able to get passes and kind of escalate throughout it. And every year it's been fabulous. I've met so many people, so many people in the industry. And one of the biggest things that I learned, um, and it's not even about like making contacts or networking so much, is seeing how friendly everybody is. Because there might be kind of a stigma that people don't care about each other or something in here. And I, I, at least that's what I thought. And coming to the film festivals and meeting everybody, that could not have been further from the truth. Because everybody's been so nice, they love talking to students, sharing their information, their experiences. It's so accessible. I mean, it's been amazing. So I think it's so important. I can't believe it when I meet students who say they didn't go, especially film students. We didn't go to the festival, I don't understand. So I think it should be part of the curriculum for everybody to be here. Oh.